I definitely am grateful for the my growth year or leave of absence year. It was 100% needed and I'm just gonna go back with fire. What is up everyone welcome back to my channel road to phd my name is kimberly and i'm so excited to have you here with me today if you're new to this channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and while you're there might as well give it a like in today's video i'll be talking about my 2021 to 2022 academic goals and some of you may or may not know that i took a one year leave of absence from school so this will serve as my senior year I know I have a summer before my senior year video on my channel. You can find it either here or here. So some of the goals are the same. So my first goal is to make relationships and establish rapport with graduate school faculty because they will serve as my mentors in the future. When it comes to getting a PhD, your destiny is in the hands of your mentor. They, de they definitely decide how much you're worked, how quickly you can publish how quickly you can advance and if they leave there you there goes your project and or there goes your um, grant money right and so all these things need to be taken into consideration when it comes to picking a faculty member but it's also vice versa too the faculty member also has to pick you and that's why it's important to establish rapport and that's why i am starting in March to reaching out to some faculty members that I would like to work with in the future. My next academic goal is to finally take the GRE. Bro, this will be my fourth attempt at taking the GRE. I have not taken it once ever before. This will just be my fourth attempt of studying for it in a complete cycle again because I have studied for it completely for three times so this will be my fourth time and hopefully the last i'm planning on taking it before i go back to school in august so definitely um you know before july for sure and i have a checklist and whenever i, I reach a red box on the list that's when i'm gonna schedule the exam so i have no set date right now i just need to make sure that i constantly study until i get that red box so my next academic goal is to get a research program in the summer that focuses on microbiology throughout my matriculation at howard my research interests have changed dramatically and i finally think i have found what i want to do or at least for a phd wise what i want to do it's in the field of microbiology and it's in the gut microbiota or microbiome whichever word you prefer i'm sure they mean different things but i always mix them up and focus on pre and probiotics as well. Now, when it comes to getting a PhD, it's important to be flexible with your research project as well. And so as long as somebody's doing work on the gut microbiome, regardless of what the scope is, I'll be happy with it. And so for this summer, I apply to most programs that do research on the gut microbiome. Not everyone does it the same and some people focus on it with different disciplines such as like genetics, bioinformatics, immunology, but I wanted a program that was just as microbiology as they come. If they had immunology that uh, was a part of it, then I'd be okay with that too. And so, so far, it's working out good. For me, I found some programs, I applied, I got into a few, and so I, right now I'm just trying to make a decision about what I want to do. But the goal of those programs is to gain the hard skills that come with microbiology. Uh, my research in public health and epidemiology and pathology and neurobiology don't necessarily give me the hard skills that have to do with microbiology, like such as inoculation, agar plates, dealing with bacteria, and stuff like that. The previous experiences did help with lab safety, reading papers, writing papers, um, and that was really important and I'm grateful for it. So my next academic goal is to do well in my final nutrition courses and my classes and the clinicals as well. And so I have 24 credits left of nutrition and that includes I believe five classes and one long huge practicum 
credit that's 10 credits long and so I just want to do my best our cohort is really small I don't believe there's ever more than 10 students in the cohort and I just definitely just want to make sure I strive for greatness so I can pass my CDR exam commission on dietetic registration exam in 2022 when I graduate so that's one of my goals um, it's actually one of my life priorities is to make sure that I study nutrition every day and so yeah okay so my my next goal is to apply to graduate schools and I will probably be starting that in the summer of 2021 um, but first I have to find which graduate programs I'm interested in I do have a video about how to make a proper graduate school playlist please check it out here and so I'm really looking forward to it uh, because there aren't a lot of schools that are doing the research that I want to do and so whenever I find a school that is it's like a eureka moment like I get really excited about it and I'm really excited to just see what's out there now I'm still deciding between doing it uh, in an international PhD or a domestic PhD program and so only God will uh, reveal what he has in store for me I'm just staying the course and seeing what God has plans for me and so one of my final goals when it comes to like my academic life is to apply for fellowships and so it is my dream to go to the University of Reading because I love the research that they do there especially Dr. Glenn Glibson and in order for me to go to University of Reading which is in the UK and like not have to pay out of pocket I have to go through a fellowship and so the fellowships that I'm applying to are the Marshalls and the Rotary and um, also Fulbright. Fulbright will let me study there as well or do research um, independently. I would like to get a formal degree because it's important I believe to get as many credentials as possible. Yes I could be a Fulbright scholar but why not also just get a master's if I'm there especially since it only takes about nine to twelve months to get a master's in the UK and I would do the 12 month program there and so I'm just really excited about it and and i'm also thinking about getting my phd there if god allows it and wills it for me so it's just really how it's gonna go so the last fellowship i'm thinking of applying to is the nsf grfp which is what a lot of students who are going to enter graduate school in the stem discipline apply to um, especially because funding is important for stem phds because it's so long it's five to six years that about the first two years are covered by the institution or the mentors grant and then the next years you need an outside fellowship to make sure that you do graduate on time that you can also pay your bills right and or you can go to conferences they also cover like give you some money to go to conferences as well and present your research and so I'm just looking forward to see what this year will bring I definitely am grateful for the my growth year or leave of absence year it was 100% needed and I'm just gonna go back with fire and um, just know that like this is like the field that I've wanted to be a part of for so long nutrition dietetics microbiology and it's finally happening and I'm on the cusp of tasting it and I hope I, I be as present as possible so I can experience the growth and I can experience the knowledge that comes with it I think my junior year it was just go 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 that I wasn't given the chance to or even taking the chance to experience that wow came like the classes you've been waiting to take the knowledge you've been waiting to learn it's finally here I and like just soak it all in and soak it all up and so that's why I'm excited about it do you have any academic goals that you'd like to share please leave them in the comment below thank you so much for watching this video if you'd like to know anything else about me i do have a playlist that i believe is called vlogs all about me um i i try to make this i try to make this channel as like search optimized as possible so videos that you definitely want to watch about like other things but it's also my channel and, and i would like for you to get to know me better every now and then thank you so much for watching if you're into nutrition please sign up for my my please fill out the survey or the form below it's only 30 seconds and thank you so much for watching phd roadies and i will see you on the road bye